Hello and welcome to Blender Video Tutorial Number Three. Um, I just have one thing to say uh, for all you people watching this. Uh, I can't really teach you everything on Blender, so just try to learn some things by yourself because there's so many functions. But I will try to cover as many as I can. Basically, all the main ones that will get you up and going. And so now you know how to navigate. You know you've gotten Blender. Um, now we're going to talk about editing your object, cre creating objects that, well, just making it to uh, different shapes, pretty much. So, okay, and object, when you first start Blender, you're in object mode. These are all your different modes for for this cube. Uh, this cube is called a mesh. Uh, so, let's go ahead and go to edit mode. So, from there, you would, from object mode, you just go to edit mode. Or if you're trying to go quicker, or just to save time, you can hit the tab key. And when you hit the tab key, it'll bring you into edit mode. Okay. So you're in edit mode, you're looking at this, and you have no idea what this is. Okay, this is your cube that is now grabbable where all the points meet. These are your vertices, the, the little dots, I guess, that uh, make up your cube in all the places. They're just points in space that join together in other areas of space that create a face between them. And that's pretty much how all of the objects or all meshes will pretty much be created. Alright, when when you're in edit mode you can edit a few ways. You can hit the G key, which I've been doing, and move these verts around. Uh but what if you don't want, what if you don't want to move a vertice around you want to grab this entire face and move it so instead of having to select all these vertices and then move them as one you can just come down here to this little bar and hit this this little triangle with this button in the middle now you can select the face the entire face you can experiment around to kind of understand that better Okay, um, and if you notice, you can select faces on the other side of the mesh. See, I, w I was not even looking at this, and I selected it. See, you can, it's pretty, you can, it's see through. So, to, to fix this, go back down that little bar and hit this cube. Just, uh, and now you can't select faces on the other side. Alright. So now that you know how to change from vertice selection to face selection, let's do edge selection. Now that we've hit this little line here, we can select the edges and edit from that. That's your basic editing. Uh, now, yeah, you have a cube, but what if you want to make this part come out and then extend down? What we're going to have to do is, you could do this either way, just go to face selection and pull it back a little bit. Uh, it doesn't matter just just for this anyways uh, so that we can get a better view let's just hit 3 on the numerical keypad which brings us in a side view and we can ed bring this back to where we think it should be uh, I'm just going to create like two stairs two, uh, two steps and now for our next key I'll, I'll go back into this view we hit the E key which makes it's called it's extruding that where we've selected so now we're extruding out uh, where we were just were see how it came out from this line extrude out again and now I've done this all right side view and well let me go ahead and fix this use the U key to undo okay now that we know what extruding is you can just extrude down, bring it down, extrude out, extrude out again, bring this one down, and extrude out. So now we've created an awkward but stair type of model. So if we hit tab, go in object mode, there it is in object mode. Alright. Now we can either just, you can just build off of this and do all types of things with it bring vertices around use these buttons again uh, how to select more faces at say you want to select this and this at the same time 
all you have to do is hit shift and then select your new face so unselect all with A shift right click shift and right click and then you can select both of those and edit at the same time and extrude there just whatever just try to experiment around a little bit and how I have this one and this both these editing oh. okay say I have this I want to be able to do this and the rotation on one just hold shift and select that too or select this one doesn't matter this I'll clean this up this one here it makes faces inward and outward come in this way if you select the middle ring it sizes it down all together all edges it's a pretty good tool for uh, editing faces and verts alright so that's our basic editing from a cube uh, extruding is basically one of the most useful uh, uh, editing tools other than the knife cut knife cut can be done by hitting the K key okay so after you hit K you get this menu just go ahead and hit or you can experiment around with all these uh, the loop cut uh, finds loops in your mesh and then you just uh, left click to s the uh, left click to uh, hit yes or ok except to whatever uh, place you want to cut it just down the middle and then after you've done that you can move it around and it puts new verts in so go to vertices and this is where our new vertices have jumped into place and it's really useful uh, great tool and uh, you can experiment around with this uh, we'll, we'll use these in other tutorials because we don't really need them for basic editing alright now we've got this I don't know what you want to call it but just an object alright you can render this and of course you can move this around uh, we can move this around to here and render it but uh, let's say we need lights behind this so that we can see back behind all we need to do is it select our light and hold down shift and then hit D okay and then hit exit to cancel now we now we have duplicated that light and we can bring it back behind it so now we have two lights okay so we can get zero for camera view and then F12 and now we have created a simple little object uh, it's rendering a little slow because I'm capturing but anyway um so that's pretty much basic as it gets two lights and our object we've created uh, next we'll get into how to make uh, it change color uh, add color to it make it make different effects like glass and stuff like that it's really cool alright so stay tuned for the buttons window